Hey guys, we are here at the live grand opening yeah. of the Black Cloister Brewing Company in downtown Toledo, Ohio. We're it's, behind this wall because it's it's jam packed and it's, it's absolute it's craziness. Madness out there. He said they've probably already gone through about seven barrels worth of beer, and considering they brew seven barrels at a time of each beer, <laughs> they're running low, which is a great problem to have, but it's also kind of terrifying. But you know. More power to them. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying everything we see right now. Yeah, we took a, a tour of the brew house, which you'll see, and uh, it's just been a lot of fun. It's a great crowd, and it's a beautiful building with the monastic feel at the stone yeah. arches. We're in the first building in Toledo to ever receive electricity, so it's an old <laughs> building, and uh, we're just happy to be here. So enjoy the grand opening of Black Cloister Brewing Company. If you're ever in Toledo, stop on by and grab a beer with us. Glub, 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 glub. Being that it was the grand opening, we wanted to hurry up and see what locals thought of Toledo's newest brewery. So, so far it's had a great first impression and um, uh, I really like what they're about, you know, with the whole Martin Luther uh, background. It's for Toledo, this is awesome. Real cool place, cool atmosphere. They've been needing something like this downtown for a while. It's nice to see it. Um, love the atmosphere. I love all the original artwork, all the original design. Um, love that so many people have already gifted so many flower baskets and bouquets. That's awesome. Nice little nature touch inside for all the architecture. So I love it. When I walked in, I just like enjoyed the whole atmosphere, the uh, brick, the brick, everything about it. I just, I just loved it. Felt comfortable. Yeah. Yes. I just thought it was very friendly. I met Tom, the owner. And there's just some warmth about him, and I feel that's reflected in his staff. And that just drew me to the place, and it just is very welcoming. Of course, what's a brewery without the beer? So we took a quick brewery tour, spoke to brewer Bob Hall to know a little bit more about himself, the brewery, and the beers that they brew. We're with Bob Hall, one of the brewers here at Black Cloister. Uh, Bob, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, I am uh, from Napoleon, Ohio. Okay. I have been a home brewer since 1971. Uh, haven't brewed good beer since 1971, <laughs> but I uh, uh, have been at it for quite some time, and, and I am really pleased to be involved with Black Cloister. All right. Uh, and we just wanted you to go through your lineup today. This is opening day. You have three beers on tap. Uh, what do we have in this glass right here? In that glass is the Pale Rider. The Pale Rider is sort of a hybrid. It's a uh, Bohemian Pilsner recipe, but it's done with a uh, an ale yeast that will tolerate cold temperatures. So it was fermented at 58, and uh, it, it still maintains some of the uh, Bohemian characteristics of the uh, malt and the saz hops. Pale Rider is jam-packed full of crackery, bready flavors and aromas. It leaves a really nice spiced end to it. And it's something that's just very drinkable and pleasing to the palate. I have to say the pale ale is my favorite. I just think it's very smooth, easy drinking, no bitter aftertaste. And I would get that any day of the week. I'd have to go with the pale ale, my favorite. I don't like an aftertaste in beer. I like the red. It was fine. I could drink it, but I, I prefer the pale ale. You can tell I kind of like this one. It's almost gone. Uh, right. Tell us about the Marty here. The Marty, uh, named after Martin Luther. Uh, we are uh, the Black Cloister uh, being uh, Luther's home in Wittenberg, Germany, and all of us founders are uh, Lutheran. Uh, the Marty is a Belgian blonde ale okay. done with uh, primarily Pilsner malt, a little aromatic, and uh, some sugar, uh, Saz hops, and uh, Belgian Ardennes yeast. My personal favorite beer of the night is the Marty. It's a Belgian blonde ale that they say... It's probably as close to the one that Martin Luther himself would have been able to drink at the time. It's packed with banana and cloves and a good caramel sweetness as well as some fruity sweetness from the yeast. Just a very overall great Belgian blonde. All right, and the third beer you guys have on tap today is the Rose of Shannon. Give us a little rundown on what this is all about. Yeah, interesting. Uh, Rose of Sharon, uh, there is a Lutheran emblem that has the rose on it, but uh, Shannon is our co-brewer uh, okay. so it's a rose of shannon is her recipe uh, typical irish uh, red uh, recipe with uh, maris otter malt and the uh, irish ale yeast from uh, y yeast so it's a, a very uh, true to style irish ale by far the people's choice beer of black cloister brewing company i'll have to say the rose of shannon the uh, rose of shannon i think is a red ale and uh, i'm not a big fan of like the wheat beers or the ipas so this is right down my alley. Um, has like the nice caramel flavor. Um, 
it definitely goes down smooth, so loving it so far. The Shannon. I'm Irish, so this is right up my roots. It's delicious, uh, real good taste, smooth texture, it's great. The Rose of Shannon, it's very good. My favorite beer, everybody knows that's seen me here, is Rose of Shannon, the Irish Red. The Rose of Shannon Irish Red Ale. This is stylistically about as accurate as an Irish Red can be. It's toasty, it's bready, it's sweet with caramel notes. It's just an absolutely drinkable, delicious Irish Red Ale. We're not going to give these beers actual ratings right now, but for the first night of this brewery's opening, these are about as good as we can expect. I mean, they're just very delicious. The crowd is loving them, and we're very proud of Toledo's Black Cloister. Whether you're a local or you're just passing through, if you're ever in the Toledo area, make sure to stop by Black Cloister. The atmosphere and the beer will ensure that this is one of Toledo's must-go-to destinations for years to come. Cheers.